Hey guys, this is Mac Kids in the one. In today's terminal lesson will consist of several great, impressive things. So first of all, the first most impressive one of these, sticky bits. Now, sticky bits is um running commands as root or their owner. So with the sticky bit, if you set a sticky bit on an executable like RM, then you set the owner of RM to root, then whenever you run RM, it'll run as root. So I'm going to show you how to do sticky bits. I'm also going to show you stuff about Banner, and Banner lets you take text on the screen and it converts it to a bunch of hashes, and um, so it'll it'll make um, text scroll across the screen sideways or you know this way, so you'll have to turn your head sideways to read it, but um, it'll make letters bigger using hashes. Um, and you'll understand more about that when I show it. The next one is just kind of like a fun thing that you can probably figure out anyway. It's um, making a bunch of text come up and keep on repeating itself, like hello would repeat again and again and again and again on the terminal screen really fast. So those are my three um, things I'm going to be teaching you. So um, I'll just point out um, that um, sticky bits is not a security issue because in order to make commands run as root you have to at one point or another have been logged in as root um, and uh, you can do all this stuff if you figure it out so I'm gonna get started so first of all the first thing I said I was gonna be demonstrating is sticky bits so let's say I have a command and I'll just put rm on my desktop Okay, so now RM is on my desktop, right? And so when I run RM from here, I can delete any files that are owned by me. But say a file is owned by root, and I don't have permissions to delete it. Wouldn't it be great if I could make this version of RM on my desktop always run as a root? Well, it's easy enough to do this. First of all, we want to change its owner to root. And I'm not sure I showed this in other episodes, but you do sudo space chown space root space RM. And rm you replace with the path of the file you want to change the owner to root so now I'll type my password because I type sudo so now if I do an ls-l rm rm is owned by root so now when I run rm it'll still run and the normal rm is owned by root as well so now we're gonna give it a sticky bit so what you do for that is you do sudo space and first we're gonna give it the permissions I wanted so first I'll do sudo space chmod space a plus x s space and then the name of the file so now if I type ls dash l r m it has this s s s thing next to every single one so now when I run r m it'll run as root so I'll make a file on my desktop that I don't normally have permissions to delete and I'll use this magic sticky bit to delete it so I've created a file on my desktop it is locked I have no way to delete it and if I type if I type rm file and hit y it won't let me delete it so I have this sticky bitted rm on my desktop so if I type rm dot slash rm to run the rm on my desktop space file the rm will run as root and when I hit y since it was running as root where the file go it's gone so I ran rm as root without running a sudo command. I can do this for practically any command, but some commands make sure that um that this doesn't happen. They have built-in security features such as su. A bunch of programs already have sticky bits like passwd already has a sticky bit because otherwise it wouldn't let regular users edit etsy password. So obviously you're not going to give passwd a sticky bit and change the root password. So don't think you are going to be able to do that. But that's pretty cool. So um, now that I've showed you sticky bidding, I'm just going to delete my RM. Okay, so the next thing I said I was going to show you was banner. So the command for banner is simple. Banner. Then I'll type high. So now it's printed high in these huge letters, and it's hard to read, right? So if you type banner space dash w space and then the size of our terminal window, let's just say 60 for now. Then we hit enter and type a message. Um, this is Joe. It writes, 
as you can see there, it's written, this is J. Sideways, of course. So that's too bad, but it, it is sideways. So if we do that greater than more, and I type hello, there we are. And you can also type a message right here, so I'll type this, and I'll say pipe more. Then it'll just type this. Okay. So that is how to do that, and it's like scrolling text on the screen. I'm sure a lot of people still use that somewhere. So the next thing I made, I'm gonna was going to show you, is how to display random text on the screen and make it scroll up really fast. And it looks cool. So... Um, you probably already understand kind of why this works if you watched our shell scripting lessons. But I'll type while space left parenthesis true, um, right parenthesis space do, space, and then I'll type echo space dash n space quote, then space hello, another space, close quote, semicolon space done. Now look what happens. Okay, so as you can see, this works. If you hold down a key, it looks a little weird. Like this, I'm holding down a key, several keys. That's done. So I can press Control C to get out of it. So as you can see, if I add another space before and after hello, it looks a little cooler. And you can add, even add another sleep right here. So right after the semicolon, you do sleep 0.01. So that way it goes a little slower. You can see the keys I'm pressing. Press Control C. So this is a cool thing. It's not really a command. It's a set of commands. Echo just prints something out to the console. Echo space dash n prints something out to the console without printing a new line. So I'm not printing a new line. I'm just printing space space echo space space. So as you can see, there are going to be four spaces between each echo, or yeah, between each hello. So that's cool. So that's. Um, how to do some of this cool stuff, um, like banner, sticky bits, um, and making random text scroll on the screen, even though the random text thing is not really a command, it's just something fun I figured out. Um, so, thanks for watching Mac Kids on the One. Um, check out all these commands, I'd appreciate if everyone would just do these commands. So thanks for watching, subscribe, and goodbye.